welcomes you in our last video we had completed practical number 2 in two different ways one by using sql server etl process one by using the power bi desktop where we had implemented the etl process now in the practical number 3 it has been asked to you that create a data staging area for the selected database now when i am looking over here in my power bi desktop This is what my data area. I will call it the staging area. So, this me, कुछ अलग ज़्यादा कुछ करने के लिए है नहीं. तो हम लोग एक छोटा सा काम करेंगे. As per the manual given by the university, and you should be also understanding the how the visualization takes place in Power BI. We will try to first of all create some kind of basic visualization in this particular practical three A, because staging area is already there. What is the staging area? Is the area where we are keeping our data before we are passing the data towards the destination so staging area is a temporary area, area where all the extracted data is been stored transform and further from the staging area the data is been passed towards your destination data so now let us try to understand the visualization for understanding visualization i created one small kind of chart Like few chart is there. This is count of stock value by product name. This is count of stock value by year. This will be the shipping country. So, छोटा सा अच्छा भी है यहाँ पे कि आप इसके अंदर देख पाते हो कि जब भी आप country को select करते हो, तो automatically you will find the values are what getting changed. So, if you may be selecting the product name, or might be you will be selecting. some country you will find the details are what also getting changed right so there is a link between all these kind of chart now how can i create these all chart now how the map is getting displayed over here the first thing we will understand what are the settings which are needed for displaying this map properly so please complete those settings the options are there in the file you can go towards your options and settings under the options and settings you can go to options under this particular option you are able to select over here the option as security under the security you will find the options related with the map and field map visual this check box is by default unchecked so please check this check box so that you are able to get these options properly over here fine i had given a click on okay over here now this is the map which is already created by me. but now i am interested to we'll create a map and create this kind of visualization again under the page 2 so let's focus on a page 2 and we'll create the visualization which i had created in my page 1 what is the visualization is a way of representing your data towards the user now what i am interested i am interested in displaying my product id or product name along with the unit in stock so i can select my product name and drag it over here so this is all my product name i can select my unit in stock so over here so unit in stock is also been displayed over here right but this is what a, a regular sheet which is displaying the data to you. but you want this should be displayed graphically properly in front of you. so that the reason we might be selecting any of the chart option Might be at selected over here clustered column chart. So when I'm selecting clustered column chart, no chart is properly displayed because on the x-axis you are having product name, and when it comes to legion, you will find unit in stock is in the legion. Legion means what? बाजू में जो दिखा रहता है ना कि कौन सा कलर किसके लिए उसको मतलब legion बोलते हैं. But I want y-axis should be unit in stock. So I selected unit in stock. पर formula थोड़ा गलत हो गया यहाँ पे count हो गया unit in stock. तो हर एक का काउंट वन वन ही आएगा रे तो इसलिए क्या हो रहा है काउंट में ये चार्ट आ रहा है बट वेर एज यू कैन जस्ट चेंज इट टूवर्ड द सम और एवरेज एंड यू विल फाइंड अ डिफरेंट वे बाय व्हिच दिस चार्ट इज व्हाट बीन रिप्रेजेंटेड ओके सो दिस इज अ क्वाइट अ बिगर चार्ट आई कैन एबल टू गो फॉर व्हाट क्रिएटिंग दिस विजुअलाइजेशन एज पर अवर रिक्वायरमेंट चलो यार एक छोटा सा सम ऑफ यूनिट स्टॉक बाय प्रोडक्ट नेम करके एक विजुअलाइजेशन क्रिएट हो Now I want uh, calendar wise be date wise order date wise be मेरा जो line in total था last video में हम लोगों ने बनाया था जो last में मैंने stock value ले लिया था सर क्या किया था 
लास्ट वीडियो एक बार वापस जाके देख लो आपको समझ में आ गया आएगा कि यहाँ पे हम लोग स्टॉक वैल्यू कैसे जनरेट किया फाइन तो ईटीएल प्रोसेस में वो स्टॉक वैल्यू अपना जनरेट हो गया सो प्लीज रेफर टू दर्लियर वीडियो यू विल अंडरस्टैंड हाउ दिस स्टॉक वैल्यू गेट जनरेट तो मुझे अभी चाहिए क्या ऑर्डर डेट के हिसाब से स्टॉक वैल्यू चाहिए तो ऑर्डर डेट ले लिया और साथ साथ में मैंने क्या लिया यहाँ पे स्टॉक वैल्यू ले ली सो आई एम गेटिंग ऑर्डर डेट लाइक ईयर क्वार्टर मंथ डे स्टॉक वैल्यू इज बिन देर नाउ यू डिसाइड द वे इन विच यू वॉन्ट विजुअलाइजेशन यू वॉन्ट लाइन शार्ट यू वॉन्ट पाई शार्ट यू वॉन्ट सेम वे दैट इज अस्टर्ड कॉलम शार्ट नो आई एम इंटरेस्ट इन गेटिंग लाइन शार्ट सो आई एम सेलेक्टिंग ओवर इयर द लाइन शार्ट अगर सेम प्रॉब्लम अराइजेस यू नो दैट लीजेंड वैल्यू वाई में चाहिए तो गलती से वो लीजेंड में चला गया अगर आपने पहले से ड्रैग करना चालू किया तो प्रॉब्लम आपको नहीं आएगा तो मैं यहाँ पे गया और वाई एक्सेस में उसको डाल सो आई गेटिंग द काउंट ऑफ स्टॉक वैल्यू इफ यू आर इंटरेस्ट इन काउंट ऑफ स्टॉक वैल्यू यू कैन यूज इट काउंट यू वुड लाइक टू यूज सम काइंड ऑफ अदर ऑप्शन यू आर एबल टू गो फॉर सेलेक्टिंग दोज अदर ऑप्शन नाउ अलॉन्ग विद आई वॉन्ट वो मैप वाला इफेक्ट भी लेके आना है तो इसके लिए अपने पास शिपिंग कंट्री है ना कंट्री का नाम के हिसाब से तो आई जस्ट ड्रैक द शिपिंग कंट्री ओवर हियर you will find the map is getting displayed and wherever the shipping countries are been there in the order those details are been mapped over here i can give a click on it and you can find the data is getting changed in a graphical ways also so that is the beauty of understanding you can see the about maybe i'm selecting this product name then selecting this product name where there are the areas where the product is been sold and what is the count of stock value by year for this selected product i am selecting the other product you will find the change has been happening selecting other product the change is what been happening similarly i am change the country the change is also been happening so you can easily visualize this you can able to go for publish it and then that can be shared with the multiple persons persons of an organization so this is the simple way by which you are able to go for visualizing your power bi desktop so please try out these all things these are always good thing please present your things properly in our next video we will try to understand about a very very important thing uh, creating the uh, rolap emolap and hlap queue so be present and be attentive please follow all the practical series properly thanks a lot students please share the video like the video and subscribe our channel